Hey everyone, Sean back today on Three String Jams. Haven't gotten a chance to make a video in a while, so let's start back with some classic hard rock off the Back in Black album, ACDC's What Do You Do For Money, Honey? Just play part of the intro for you. I'm going to try to break down this whole song today. Uh, all the chords that you would need to play this on your three string. We're going to do the intro, the verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus, uh, what you can do for the rhythm part in the solo. We'll just go through the whole song. So let's jump right into this today. And I apologize if you hear a little bit of static. I think I'm having an issue with my patch cable uh, at this time. So. If you hear a little bit, I apologize. Try to keep this muted as much as I can. But let's break down the chords we need. First, make sure that you are in open G tuning. To do that for a three string, on your low string, you want it tuned in G. Your middle string tuned in D. Your high string tuned in G. So if we just strum all three chords, we get a G chord. Now, let's get into breaking this down. I'm going to scoot a little closer, move the camera down so you can see my hands better as to what I'm doing. Just give me just a second to do that as I adjust. Okay, let's scoot the mic back just a little. Now, for that intro that you heard me playing a second ago. Explain what I'm doing here. The first chord that you need would be an E chord. And I'm making this to simulate um, an E power chord. So I've got my ring finger on the fourth fret, the low string, my pointer finger on the middle string, um, which is your D at the second fret, your D string. And then we have that high string also tuned in G. I've got uh, my pinky on the fourth fret here. So four two, and four to give us an E. But you might say in tuned in open G, we can also play an E up here at the ninth fret. That's true, but we are going to use that in part of the verse. So we want to make that ACDC style E that they use a lot on a sixth string. But you hear it sounds more like that. Uh, you know, often made the second fret on a sixth string. Uh, what? We're simulating that with this this E chord. Then we need a, just an open G. We need a D chord, which can be made by placing your middle finger up here on the low string at the second fret, ring finger on the high string at the second, and that middle string is actually ringing out. You don't want to mute it to make an octave. It rings out. Do you notice when I played this earlier, I made the D chord like this, I also made it like this. Sometimes I'll use my thumb and uh, pointer finger to make this. Doesn't sound any differently. Okay, so you need a D. Finally, you need an A chord, which is made here at the second fret by barring all three strings to make an A. So the rhythm for this goes E, G, D, D, A, A. I'll do it slowly. Pause. E, G. E, G. Pause. D, D, A, A. E, G. That's exactly how the intro would go, so let's speed it up to normal speed for this. break into the verse. It's got the intro for you. So the verse part sounds something like this here. Okay, the 
hardest part to this, I'll tell you, I messed up on a couple of times. There's a part we're going to slide from a D chord to an E. Sounds like, should sound sim something similar to that. That's often hard for me. I'm in a bad habit of not going far enough or going too far. Okay, but we'll get to that in just a second, how we're going to slide in that portion. So the first chord that you need was the E that's made right here at the ninth fret, barring all three strings. Then we're going to move to a D at the seventh, barring all three strings. Down to a C sharp at the sixth, barring all three strings. Now in the song itself, it basically goes from an E to a D to what would be kind of like a D5 with a C sharp in the bass if you hear it. It sounds slightly different than this C sharp, but it's not that big of a difference. And that would, I mean, this is really, it would sound the, practically the same doing it this way with a three string. It'd be kind of hard to pull off what I just mentioned, like a D5 with a C sharp in the bass. So just go from E, D to C sharp. Then we're going to go to a G to that D that we learned. And when it does this, you notice in the song, it, it does these notes or these chords kind of quickly. Then there's a pause, like sound like, sounds sort something like this here. Notice how it's kind of quick. I pause those. Okay. Now it does that when it turns back around after I do that G D kind of quickly. You're gonna go up to this D, hit that, and slide up to E. Sounds like that. Okay, so let's put that together. That's kind of how it sounds basically. Now when it comes back down after that slide, you're gonna go D C sharp. And this time you let the G and the D ring out. First time we kind of stopped it quickly. This time let it ring out. Just like that. Straight back into that slide from D to E. Okay, so let's see if we can put it together. Here's where it's going to change a little bit more. You may hear something like this in the song. Okay, when they're playing it on the sixth string, all that they're doing on the rhythm at that part is just hitting uh, your open E string. Uh, and that's in standard tuning. So what I'm doing instead of open, hitting open G, I'm actually holding down uh, the low string here at uh, the ninth fret to make an E note, just doing that three times. It sounds like. Hear that? If you want to hit part of the middle string, you can. But you don't want to hit the whole chord. So just, it kind of goes bom, bom, bom. Okay. And you'll hear that when you listen to it. So let's see if we can put all that together again. doing there a second on that part I was thinking oh yeah I need to hit that E note three times okay so that's getting you through the verse ring out how the verse sounds for this song okay after this part when you get through that part it's gonna sound something like this now that's 
the part where you're getting ready to break back into the chorus on this song. So after we did those three uh, strums on the E note, you're going, to go, you're going to go E, D, C sharp, G, then D, back to E, D, and then to an A. You're going to start out lightly and build up. Leading into the chorus. So I'll do that part again. Okay, now let's put the verse together leading into the chorus. Then we'll get into the chorus part. Guess what? The chorus is identical to the intro. Okay, same notes that we used before. Now, after you get through the chorus, it goes to a part where it's like, what do you do for our money, honey? Okay, all I'm doing at that part before you get into the solo part, he's just basically hitting an E chord. It's kind of a quick and a pause. What do you do for our money, honey? Get your kicks. Third one, let it ring a little bit. Do for our money, honey. Get your kick. That one. That's how it goes. Okay, so. Like this. Let it ring. Now, it's going to go into the solo part. So, here's what you can do for the solo. You'll need an A, C, D, C, A. And that would be the second fret, fifth, seventh, fifth, second again. Sounds something like this in this part. Okay, that's the rhythm to this song during the solo. So I was going A, C, D, C, A. Using uh, basically these three fingers to pull that off. I always use my middle finger to put a little more pressure on my ring finger. Make sure I make that chord. Okay, now that's not exactly correct with how, they, how it's played in that part. It's more like an A chord to a C note that's bent a little bit to a, a part of a D back to that C note to the A, but I'm just using all the chords here, and we're making a pretty good equivalent to how it sounds on a six string in this part. So that's sort of getting that down. And that's what it does through the rhythm parts. Now when it comes out of the rhythm, it hits the, uh, it's Malcolm hits the E chord twice. And it goes G, D back to the E. Okay, does through that I think three times. There starts out two quick E's. Then G, D, E. Then we're 
back into the part that we did uh, leading into the course. Then to finish it, back to that same pattern we did for the intro and the chorus. Okay, so that pretty much takes us through the whole song to play it on a three string, the parts that you need to this song. I need to work on sliding. I'm bad a lot of times when I do this. To end up muting the strings with my picking hand. I need to work on that. See how much better that sounded that time than previously when I did it. I apologize for messing up during the video, but this is a song that I just kind of picked up the other day and thought, hey, I think I can convert that over to a three string. So uh, kind of pleased with how it turned out. Sometimes it's very difficult to get the tone that I like. Uh, on the three string as compared to I've got a six string um, Schecter guitar with Seymour Duncan pickups in it. Uh, you can really get some good tones out of that but uh, for what I've got here it's pretty good um, for the three string that we just came up with for it. So if you like this song and I'll move the camera back up and some of the others you've seen just continue to uh, tune into the channel here and uh, I'll try to get some more out for you soon to see. Uh, haven't had an opportunity to make many videos lately. It had been about uh, probably six or seven weeks since I posted a video. So just want to get this to get back in the groove. If you like this one, be sure to like it. Uh, if you want to see some others, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to try to get maybe three or four more videos out within this week and the next one as well, just to make up for some lost time. So. Uh, anyway, everybody take care. Uh, enjoy your upcoming Thanksgiving holiday here in the U.S. coming up. Uh, if you're a soccer fan, enjoy the World Cup going on right now. So everybody take care and we'll see you next time.